Hey IELTS people, welcome to December 2023. Let's look at some of the cue cards and the follow-ups associated with these cue cards. अगर आप अपना exam December के महीने में देने जा रहे हैं, तो ये possibility है कि ये cue cards आपके real exam में पूछे जाएंगे और इनके साथ follow-ups भी हैं. I'm going to look at six of them. So let's begin. Take a screenshot, pause the screen. But make sure that you do practice them because these are real exam questions. These, this is not a random guesswork. So the first one, describe a popular person. The first follow-up, why do some students want to become popular? What kind of people are more popular at school? And the last one, do you think a good teacher should become popular? Cue card number two, describe someone who moved to your community and brought a positive influence. Follow-up number one, is it a positive thing for young people to live by themselves? Second, apart from cooking, are there any skills people need to learn if they live independently? And the third follow-up, what kind of people tend to live by themselves? Moving on to the next cue card, describe a time when you talk to a group of people. Very commonly asked and the follow-ups, what benefits does the internet bring to communication? Which one is better, being a talker or a listener? And the last one, what qualities does a person need to have to be a good communicator? Moving on to the next one, describe a piece of clothing you wear most often. First follow-up, when do people wear formal clothes? What is the difference between the clothes of older people and the young people in your country? Do the people living in south of your country or the warmer areas wear different clothes from those living in the north that is comparatively colder? Follow-up number fourth, do you think students like to wear uniforms? Moving on to the last two, describe an activity that made you feel tired. The follow-ups, does learning make people feel tired? Number two, when do people usually feel tired? Last one, how much free time do you think office workers should have? And last one in this category, describe a bad service you received in a restaurant or a shop. Follow-up number one, how do most people respond to bad services? Do you think most restaurants and shops provide better services than before? Why do some people remain silent when receiving a bad service? And the last one, what would you do as a boss to, pre to prevent bad service? Practice these follow-ups and the cue cards and we assure you that one of these is definitely going to become a part of your real exam in the month of December. My name is Vikas, I represent Insignia Overseas. It's one of the leading IELTS and PTE institutes in Haryana and we make sure that we make IELTS simple for you. Thank you.